my dearest friends, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to October 2020. I'm Kaizen Maddie from Heart to Heart, intuitive and the channel, and I'm back. <laughs> I'm back home after traveling for working in the German Alps on a film shoot. It was a huge experience. A very deeply challenging experience as well and I've grown a lot. I'm still integrating and relaxing, keeping a lot. I don't know how September was for you. I found it huge <laughs> on every level, not only my personal experiences, but the energy wise as well. And I had all these things with you intense work and the energies and all this to digest at the same time I think I, I still <laughs> kind of recover from that and now um, when this video comes out it, it will be the first of October October starting <clears throat> with a new energy after the new moon in Libra so a um, moon that has highlighted our relationships. <laughs> and I, I can tell you, I'm challenged on every level with unresolved stuff, patterns in all my really young most important relationships in life. I'm not through that. It's a um, work in progress. So, as ever, I will read you the information soon I channeled while I was painting. I will show the painting before the whole painting. You will see it in the video as well as part of it and, and just the painting for October. So, what will October bring? So, as I channel the uh, the topic of working through our relationships, will go on. It will still be very charged and and intense in the outer world, the experience in the outer world. This will go on, and um, <clears throat> as I channeled, and I will guide you through a meditation as well. What will help immensely in October as ever to find the safe place in ourselves to connect with where we feel comfortable with our heart space when life gets intense. <laughs> so I have to announce that I will do a live reading again with my beautiful soul sister Andrea Thompson, intuitive healer and author on the first Sunday in October. So I'm, I think it is a fourth. It is, a, no, it is a second. Interesting. The day when Mercury stations direct as well. So second of October, we do our live readings and we will explore something new as we don't do on Facebook this time. We go, we'll go to Instagram and we'll find a link to that event or to the page yeah, under this page, the description box and the announcements on Facebook and Instagram. So something new for us as we evolve, try new things with these readings. The readings are donation-based. Um, with a minimum donation, you will find all you're interested in that in all my description boxes and here on YouTube underneath the video. So, <laughs> we are already in October. What a huge year it was. I just can remember that I channeled for the whole year and the first word coming up for 2022. It will, it will get wild. And I see it in my personal experiences as also really in the outer world. <laughs> it was until now wild here. Now we're entering the last quarter. The last three months. And for sure, all this is preparation for what's coming next. 
No, they ever say we can't build new structures on the older ones, but means the old one has to crumble before the new can settle in. I think what we all do in these intensity in our personal purgings and preparations and transformations, that we start to create this new world that's this that what we want to live in in ourselves. And little by little, every everybody who was doing the work is taking part of this creation. And so, yes, we prepare ourselves for whatever will come then. And I'm I'm a very optimistic person, and I'm not good in my own skin. So, um, there's so much beauty to come. It will, it will need some time and, and we will get glimpses and I've got the feeling in October eclipse season will start with the new moon in Scorpio at the end I don't know which date but you, you will see it then so eclipses are already good to um, expect the unexpected twists and turns and what seems to be so dark and hopeless can turn into something really beautiful and vice versa. So miracles can happen when we surrender to what is. I will show you now the painting. The October painting is also the year. Row 22. Two paintings. Can you see how? Of 2022, I painted on the white canvas, thinking at the moment of time it will overpaint it. It's still coming out more and more and integrating. So now you see here, and then you see it um, in the video later. You will see that this, this part is, is integrating something coming out but it's not so visible for the light and the colors here. And what I found interesting that this column here with February, June and October has all these yellow orange colors but you don't have them in the other columns. So it's really different colors. The heart very present and what will come here, we will see then when this month's coming along. And uh, yeah, yellow and orange are sacral chakra, divine feminine, and solar plexus, um, the place where the masculine energy is, is sitting in our bodies, the colors of the now, what is interesting these two months, and maybe you can have a look back what happened for you in these months, are we presenting these two energies? Orange, the feminine, and June, the yellow, masculine energy, and now here in October, both. And one of the big topics of October is the balance of balance or being shown where we are not. <laughs> invited to bring a balance but not yet in balance so I was not on a good place when I painted and it was interesting is I'm always amazed when I open this channel to to invite energies and information coming in that for this moment of time until now, Whoever I am, whoever I was before, this is becoming clear and it helps me to ground and find myself then as well. So I will read you the information now I channeled while I was painting this um, 10 square. And there will be a guided meditation. This is something I didn't channel because I got the information when I was telling the, the rest of the text that this is the point to go
go into a meditation that I have to channel that in this moment of time. We will see what will come through then. So, and now I start to read. The beauty of finding balance inside. Where's your safe space? The place where you find a home and comfort, no matter what's happening around you. Do you know this place inside you? Do you know how to enter when you need comfort and safety? It is a place where heart is warming, always warming you. Where the fire of your soul is burning forever. How to find a place when life outside seems crazy. When we don't know any longer who we are and where our lives want to lead us. When our patterns showing up and anxiety, when our ego steps in, seemingly to protect us. When we are so shaken that it is a challenge to differentiate what information comes from the divine in us and which one from fear and warning. In October, we enter the last quarter of 2022, a new season. The day is becoming shorter, the weather colder in the northern hemisphere. The day is becoming longer, the weather fitter in the southern hemisphere. Changes in the air. Something approaches. Another wave of cleaning and purging in ahead of us. The most part of October is the Libra season. Libra is ruled by Venus, the planet of love, relationships, beauty and value. Libra invites us to bring harmony in these parts of our lives. So we prepared that all these topics will be highlighted in our personal lives as well as in the collective. The energies will show us what is not in balance. There are still six planets in retrograde when we enter October. Mercury and Virgo are coming back in Libra until October 2. Pluto and Capricorn until October 8. Saturn and Aquarius until October 20. Neptune and Pisces the whole October. Venus and Taurus the whole October. Mars and Gemini the whole October. So, a lot of intense invitations to go inward and revisit past experiences and relationships to see love accept, integrate, and heal what still needs to be seen and loved in us. It seems to be messy, and the way it is. As ever, it's up to us to create and decide what we make with all what is coming up inside of us, as well as in the outer world. Do you see these energies as threatening? Are they frightening you? Do you prefer to not have a look who's still hurting in you? Or oh, do you see the invitation and the beauty in the process of clearing another layer of what is not your true you? I will not sugarcoat here that the process of healing is often painful and out of the comfort zone. I can tell from my own experiences the only way to heal the pain is going through the pain, and that avoidance will longer the process. I did that and still do that until my soul is crying too loud. A part of me has accepted that I will heal and feel in this lifetime a huge amount of trauma from several former lives. That I invite the right experiences to bring these trauma up. Another part of me is again and again in resistance and not instantly surrendering and accepting. To be even with this resistant part, kind and lovingly, is already part of the healing journey. We have here another month that will be massive energy-wise. We might still integrate the new light codes coming in in September, while there are a lot of new informations coming in in October. 
in human he might be on the finish line of this extraordinary year 2022. It is not yet over. So go inside, clear what needs to be cleared in you and your health to clear the world. Be open to the your relationships of all kinds, with friends, relatives, colleagues, and for sure, the ones with my partner and ex partners Libra will help you to see the beauty in the pain and to see the beauty in the pain, the beauty in yourself, as well as the beauty in life with all what it brings us. In one half of the world, the flowers start to bloom. In the other one, leaves start to fall. Can you see the beauty in this contrast, the abundance of all what is? When life is challenging you, when shadows inside you are illuminated, please keep in mind and heart that after autumn and winter, spring starts, inevitable. That after the pain, the joy waits, the power, the reconnection with what makes you you, you unique and amazing beauty. In Germany, October is called the golden months, golden like the fire of our soul, constantly burning in you, the safe place that hers in you, where you can always find comfort. I will guide you through meditation now to find the place where life gets overwhelming. So, sit down comfortable or lie down, find a position where you feel comfortable. Close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold the breath for a moment. Find a natural rhythm of breathing. Feel in your body. Feel the tension. Nothing to do with that. Just feel. You can send love to these places. And breathe in these places in your body. Then, if you sit, feel your feet on the ground. When you lie down, feel your body, how you touch, how you connect with where you're lying on. And breathe. And now you can imagine Feet are opening up and roots coming out of your feet. Growing into the earth. Deeper and deeper. You're lying down. You can imagine all the these roots coming out of your spine. And it's growing into the earth until they reach the center of the earth. Have a look. Have a look on all these roots around there coming together, small living beings on the earth. If they are conscious or not, we are all connected through our mother earth. Now you can feel how the energy of the earth 
moving up to the roots, entering your body, nourishing you, entering your veins, providing you with whatever you need in this moment of time. Now we open your crown chakra like a flower that is opening up the beautiful white flower and connect with the highest energy, the highest source of light. And imagine that a column of white light is entering through your crown into your head, flowing down like water, liquid white water with silver and gold stardust particles. Connecting you with the highest wisdom, with the highest source, nourishing you, and also heat. Have a look. All living beings on earth are connected to this highest source. We are all plugged in, conscious or unconscious. energy move through your body, the organs, the cells, clear all the chakras like a waterfall, like a swim. Now connect with your heart space. If this is helpful, put one of those hands on your heart and feel, feel the center. Maybe you can see how these those energies, the nourishing earthy one, purifying and full of new light codes, one from the highest souls are coming together in your heart space. Breathe in your heart. Now imagine that there's a chamber in your heart. Have a look. What color has the walls of this chamber? What texture? This is bright in this chamber or cozy. The fire that is burning in this chamber in your heart. An eternal flame. If you like to imagine that there is a cozy sofa in front of the fire, 
where you can sit down in your space, warmed, nourished, loved, and always welcome. What color has this sensation? The texture are the cushions or blankets. Do you like to lay down or to sit? Whatever comes to you, whatever feels best to you, take place in this chamber in the middle of your heart. Feel how safe you are, how welcome. Protect. This is the space where you can come back in every moment of time. You can find peace. Where you can find yourself. There's a wish coming in your mind, something you wish for October, for yourself, or for a loved one, or for both of you. This is a good moment to send this wish to the universe, to give it up. And I have the feeling that it's good. That is right. And leave this space. Come back in your body here and now. Take a couple of deep breaths. And then. Hold for now. Hold for a moment and breathe out. Find a natural rhythm. Move your feet, your toes, your fingers. And then come back in the room where you are. Move your body. And when it's ready, when you're ready, open your eyes. Oh, this was grounding me. How do you feel? I will go on reading now the information. You can come back to this meditation whenever you will. I will do a time step in the 
reflection box for the beginning of the meditation. So if you don't want to re-listen to the whole video, you can directly come to this meditation. October and its energies are inviting you to come in inner balance and harmony. You're also invited to accept where are you not yet in harmony. As simply the acceptance of all what you are will create a form of harmony. We are all multidimensional beings full of contrasts. To love and appreciate ourselves, to see the beauty also in what we might call flaws and imperfections, brings peace to us and the world. Be kind with yourself and patient. Trust you will always be provided with what you need. Trust that your heart knows that you're perfect and whole as you are. You are guided and loved. So I'm back. How are you doing? This was the new experience for me. It was part of the channeling that I got the information that I should guide a meditation to find this inner place where we can come and balance and harmony ourselves to reconnect and and to to feel safe as well when there is seemingly no safe space in the outer world <laughs> at the moment is um is in front of people. So these were the informations I got while I was painting. I will not add a lot. I wish you well. I wish you to be kind and loving with, with yourself and gentle and with others as well. There are people going through a lot at the moment. It's really messy. So you are not alone if you go through a lot as well. Uh, if you would like to get a personal reading or an energy alignment session, the brain conscious rewiring, you can contact me. I'm fully back now. Would like to support you if I can. So I got by myself sessions this week. <laughs> and I know that for me, when I'm in this resistance and the block and the avoidance, and I feel it is building up how really helpful it is to have support by another one. Even when I have the tools for myself, but just somebody who is holding space, just somebody being there, understanding, has gone through similar experiences. This is for me so worthful to, to make the step, to have the courage to go in action where I didn't want to go in action when, was frightening me. I can tell you that from my own experience. So I wish you a beautiful October. Enjoy whatever is coming up. And you see, I'm already in my <laughs> my knitted um, jumper. Even here in the south of France, it is becoming colder now. I'm really sensitive to cold as well. So. I like to have it cozy and this is a gift for all in the northern hemisphere so that we can enjoy now the cozy days with hot teas and whatever, pumpkin. <laughs> and for all in the southern hemisphere, I just, I know how it is to step out of winter and welcoming spring. It's always so beautiful and blooming. The day is becoming longer and brighter, so enjoy that. And all what is there, the beauty in whatever is coming away, like Venus and Libra are inviting us. I send you a big hug and we see when we see. Bye, Kaya.